to all that has to do. So let's give a face for our G Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Discussing goodness and gentleness. Amen. Amen. Uh, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23 have already been read. But I want to bring your attention to Micah chapter number 6, verse 8. And it reads, He has shown thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. You know, when we are without gentleness and kindness, we are failing to demonstrate the excellency of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Goodness is to be of moral excellence, and to be gentle means to be to not be rough or violent. We have been called to be producers of goodness and kindness because Jeremiah 31 and 3 says, With love and kindness have I drawn thee. And when we are not good and when we are not kind to one another, we are failing to be producers of what we were drawn with. When God drawed us, he actually poured inside of us goodness and kindness. We have become lashers and brawlers over time because we run to, we're always looking for what's the next controversy and what's the next debate. But we are called to be ambassadors of Christ. And when we are ambassadors of Christ, we are to produce and show forth goodness and kindness to the world. Because the kind of, the world is always looking for the next debate. They're always looking for the next fight. If you watch ever watch the news, it's never nice that some nothing on the news. It's another nothing ever kind on the news. It's always a story about something somebody being robbed or someone stealing or the next debate or the next controversy. But we are supposed to be lights into unto the world. Amen. 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 When we're on showing forth light, we are showing forth goodness. When God said, let there be light, he stood back and said, that was good. When he said, let us create man in our own image, he stepped back and said, that was good. Every time that we look back and we turn around and do something bad, we are reneging on the promise and what God has called us to be. Uh -huh. Amen. We are called to be ambassadors of gentleness. Yeah. How many times have you shown yourself to be gentle? Gentle. In just this past week, have we ever have, have you ever thought about and just looked back and said to yourself, was I even gentle? Was that a harsh word that I said to somebody? That I give them a harsh look? That we have to be careful about how we even approach certain things and, and say certain things. And you know, it's not always in what we say, it's how we say it. Yeah. Right. You have to have a gentle demeanor. Even Christ was gentle. He knew that Judas was going to betray him, but he was gentle enough to him and said, do it quickly. Yes. You have an assignment. Even towards your enemies, you are to be gentle. Yes. Even to those who don't like us, we are called to be gentle and show kindness to them. Amen? Yes. With gentleness comes light. If you look at, turn to Ephesians chapter number 5, verses number 8 through 14. It basically it says, for we were sometimes darkness, but now you are in the, light of, in the light of the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Every time that we are not kind to someone, we are not proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. It's not always about shacking and whoremongering. Did we even say the kindest word to somebody? Because when you show some, someone to be kind, you can be saving them from suicide. You can say be saving them from go committing a mass murder. You can be saving them from actually giving up and going home and killing their whole family if you were only to show kindness towards them. Kindness has become something that is rare in the church. It's become something that is rare. We're always looking to go and see what somebody else is doing bad. But how about giving someone an encouraging word? Yeah. How about going by and saying, you know what? That was a good job. How about going around saying, you know what? You look nice today. Right. How about saying, you know what? That smile that you always have on your face, keep that smile on your face. That is a kind word. We never know what someone's going through. Yeah. We never know what someone's going through in their homes. We never know what's going, some, going through on their job. You, even on your job, you're, even your, the person that you may not think li likes you, guess what? Go by them and say, you know what? You know what? You did a nice job on that project. You did a nice, you, you know what? You're, you actually look nice today. 
it's always good because you never know what will draw that person to Christ. Yeah. Our lives are beacons. Our lives are beacons. You know, every time that we do something bad, the, the person, first thing they say to you, oh, you're a Christian? That's the first thing that they'll say to you, you're a Christian? Because we're ambassadors. They look to us. The world looks to us. They're waiting for us to actually show them what's moral and what's kind and what's good. Amen? Amen. Amen. 2 Timothy 2 and 24, basically, it says that we are not supposed to always be strife, always looking for strife. We are always to be apt to teach. Our lives are a testimony unto Christ. Yes. That's what we are supposed to emulate. We are supposed to be testimonies unto Christ. James 3 and 16, it says, where there is strife, there is every evil work. We are not supposed to be brawlers. We're always, a, be careful how you're <coughs> brawling with one another. Why we're always looking for an argument. You know, it's always good to be, say, you know what, I agree with you. And just walk away. It's okay. Jesus said, agree with your adversary quickly. And in the verses before that, he said, if you have an aunt, lay your gift at the altar. It's okay. That's showing kindness. That's being gentle. It's all, it's all in our demeanor. And how about be kind to yourself? How about being kind to yourself? Sometimes we're not, we always, we always, don't downplay yourself. Uplift yourself sometimes. Say, so you know what? Be kind to yourself. Even the way we eat, we're not kind to ourselves. Even the way, I'm, I'm guilty of it. The way we eat, we're not kind to ourselves. The people that we hang around with sometimes, we're not being kind to ourselves. Be kind to yourself. You know, I was at my uncle's funeral and, and, and uh, 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 the last day of last year, and that was always his favorite saying, be kind to yourself. And I always thought about, and I just thought about it, I said, wow, be kind to yourself. What does that mean? Just be kind, be easy with yourself. Don't put yourselves in any type of stress. Don't always put yourselves in any type of strain. If you think that's not going to be good for you, pull yourself away from it. How many times, you know, stress is the biggest killer. It's the biggest killer. It weighs on us. That's about being kind to yourself. Anything that you think that's going to harm you and hinder you from what God wants you to do, move away from it. That's being kind to yourself. Amen? Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord.